This is the brand new Hype Solid from Roto Grip. Four and a half by four and a half by one and three quarter. It's partially the layout and it's partially the ball. But I think they complement each other pretty well. It's pretty smooth. I could stay further right. So for a player like me, it's fantastic. Someone that likes to really get their ball rolling early. For you at home, maybe drill it a little weaker so it comes off the spot harder. And you could play straighter if you have less rev rate. But for the heavy-handed guys, or the guys that like to hook it, this could be a good one. So I'm going to be comparing this to the Hype Pearl. I feel like we didn't really need to uh, throw the Hype Hybrid in here, especially because it's not my favorite ball. Let's get into the ball video. <sighs> it's not how you want to start a ball video. Like I said, I think this is going to be my new ball for the league. I don't know. Should I bring it every week? Let me know in the comments. At least I'll have the option, you know, the safety net. I don't really know what the cover is. I don't know the core either. I'm pretty bad at these things, as you guys have already uh, noticed. I don't even know if this ball came out yet. I, I want to say it did. I'm going to move a couple to the left, I think. I don't really know where I stood. Welcome to this public service announcement. We have been pacing pretty good to give away bowling balls just like this in 2023 if we hit 100,000 subscribers by December 31st, 2022. But we've been slowing down in recent times. Justin and I have crunched the numbers, and we won't get there. So we need you to hit the red button if you want us to get there and potentially win one of these 100 bowling balls we're giving away next year. Hit the like button and hit subscribe. <laughs> I kept my eyes in the same spot, just moved my feet, opened up my angles. You know, on the china, you got the Christmas tree pattern, lots of to the right. Typically a lot of oil in the middle. Of course, it varies depending on your house. The lengths can vary, the volumes can vary, and the house itself, topography-wise, because gravity is uh, the most important factor. Topography is uh, how the lanes basically are shaped going down the lane. Some are easier, some are harder. Fortunately here, I think they're easier. Don't quote me on that. So like I said with the layout, it's a little stronger than I typically do for bowling balls. I think this is gonna be my league layout. It makes it hook earlier, so I think it allows me to stay further right because how hard it comes off the pattern isn't as violent, so I don't have to get further left when it sees the friction. To complement this ball, the Hype Pearl is just a touch weaker, but the layouts are very similar. This is a five inch pin. The only difference is the pin, but it's only a half an inch, but it's to complement the bowling balls themselves. So I'm gonna be playing further left with the Hype Pearl typically than with the Hype Solid. So that's why I went with a slightly longer pin, but I kept the buffer the same because these lower end balls typically don't have a lot of differential, which means flare, which means hook. And the shorter buffer makes them hook more. So we're gonna keep moving left a couple boards at a time until this Hype Solid gets tired, and that'll tell us when to throw the Hype Pearl. It's definitely not tired in that spot. This might be my favorite low end ball since the Hustle Inc. Should we just ramp it up, go three, four, five? We'll go three on this shot. We'll add one board to each move. So right there, you can already see it's a little too stable for that spot. Still made the corner enough to go through the pins enough. At this point, I'm thinking, do I have to throw it slower? Do I need to hit it harder? Do I need to rotate it more? Or do I just need to make a ball change? So this next move is gonna be very telling for us. I'm probably gonna do all of those things. Except the ball change. Except the ball change. So we're moving four this time. The first move we made two. Actually, we went high, we moved two. We struck, we moved three. And then that happened, now we're moving four. All right, so we're dropping the speed, we're rotating it more, and we're gonna try to catch it a little more. I don't, I don't think the next move is gonna be great, because I did. I made a triple move. Typically, don't recommend more than one move at a time. So we are going to make the five board jump now. I think I'm gonna have to throw this one extra slow. That might be too much. Never mind, just enough. This is the importance of versatility because typically you have a six ball arsenal going to tournaments. If you can do six different things, six different combinations, you have 36 bowling balls instead of just six. So the more tools you can add to the bag, the more likely you are to match up more often. And that's all we're looking for is matching up. You get to a certain point where everybody's about the same skill level. Then it becomes about making decisions faster and making guesses quicker and closer to more correct. I think this next move is gonna be a bit ridiculous. I didn't think this ball would still look good from this far left. So we're moving six. This is definitely out of the realm of when I would throw this ball. Now it's just getting to the point where I have to do ridiculous things. I could dial it in. That was another 0.8 slower. Probably didn't need to be that slow. When we can play our A game, we're bowling our best. So we're gonna switch balls to allow us to throw it a little more normal. And then I guess we'll just keep creeping back to the right until it doesn't look good. Now we can find that happy medium, the bridge between our pearl and our solid ball. This is where we just throw our last shot. So probably don't need to be as slow. 
That's left. Brooklyn. This is just the wrong part of the lane to play now. We gotta move right, back into the window. I always like to think of the patterns as boxes and how big your box is left to right and front to back will determine how good you bowl. If it's really small, obviously, if you can't get your ball to hook front to back in that window and you have a very small box left to right to hit, bowling's gonna be really hard. But on your house shots, your boxes are typically really big. Left to right, you can miss a bunch. Front to back, it doesn't really matter what you throw. And that's why we have different bowling balls, is to fit that front to back window. All right, we're moving six back to the right. And I think this is gonna get us a little closer to the window we wanna be in for what's out there right now. I think I like this ball too. I don't know why I didn't drill one sooner. Definitely better, it's cleaner, shapes more because it's cleaner, and the slightly weaker layout. So let's reverse it, we'll move two on this shot back to the right. I'm, th I'm just gonna get a little more aggressive with the speed, keep everything else the same. These height balls are nice. So both of these balls were drilled brand new, so it's about as close as a comparison as it gets. We eliminated one variable without one ball having a bunch of games, which tends to happen in a lot of ball videos. And it doesn't get talked about enough that the difference between the bowling balls could be because of the amount of game. Comment section has let me know that the ball wants to get to the surface of the belt. I didn't know that, that's good to know. I remember learning about the lane surface thing a long time ago, so maybe this test was done after that. But it's more information, the more you know, the better. But anyways, shiny balls typically get duller and dull ones get shinier. That's pretty much the bottom line. All right, so we moved two on the last one. Let's move three. Same thing, I might have to roll it just a touch more and it should look pretty good. Now I'm bowling on a house shot, so it's making me look a lot better than I actually am. These are good balls if you uh, rev rate wise are on the higher side. I think they're just good balls, period. I'm not even gonna talk about styles. I really don't like talking about matching up bowling balls to styles. I'm more about fitting bowling balls in arsenal. Depends on the kind of bowler you are. If you don't bowl very much and you're just bowling league, there are going to be better bowling balls for a specific style because they're bowling on the same thing every week. So they're not gonna see anything different really. So in that sense, matching up the styles is more important. But if you're gonna be competitive and you wanna buy a lot of different bowling balls, that's when matching up to style doesn't really matter as much because you're bowling on different things. You're bowling on different lane surfaces, different oils, so you need different options. So I'm gonna make one more move with this ball, and then Jesse always tells me something to do, and, and then we try to do it. I kinda like where my hand's at. I'm just gonna try to throw it a little faster. Honestly, I don't really like having the same core in the bag, but this is a pretty good one-two punch. But they do different enough things to where I would throw them both. And that's crazy because I don't typically do this with a lot of low-end balls. Are these the best low-end balls on the market? Since you're throwing it so good one-handed, let's see you throw it good two-handed. We gotta throw the new one two-handed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's a better layout for two hands, too. I think for me, specifically. God, that's the hit we needed for the two-hand. Like, okay, maybe two hands aren't better than me. I don't know, I got pretty steep with that and it didn't really come off it. Do I just change balls? Maybe that's the play. That's weird, it didn't, actually that makes sense. But it struck, we'll take it. 